Hello once again and welcome back to thedrinker.co.uk. I'm Pete Turner and in this little short film I'm looking at the wines, um, my recommendations from the range at Asda. Um, this is at summer going into autumn in 2021. So um, I've selected six wines, they're all under £10 uh, from, the, from the range at Asda. Asda do some really interesting things with wine. Um, they've got a couple of little, like a, the Wine Atlas range and the extra special wines are really pretty good right across the board. So um, I picked six, two reds, two whites, uh, a rosé and a fizz and we'll get cracking straight off with this. It's a Dow. It's a Dow is the region, it's the name of the river. It's just slightly south of uh, the Douro, where the port comes from. Uh, this comes in at £6.50 a bottle. It doesn't have any grape varieties listed. Um, it's like, uh, I'm guessing, a lot of the native Portuguese um, varieties will be blended in this. Tinta Ruiz, Tinta Negra. Um, so let's have a little sniff. It's... Um, it's a, a, traditionally, the, the wines from the Dow were usually quite robust. Um, I'm being polite. Um, but this doesn't smell robust at all. This smells perfumed and violet and uh, a, a blueberry and black currant. Mmm. A little tiny bit of wood smoke in there. On the palate, it's it's not robust at all. It's it's really, the, the tannins are integrated and soft. Uh, it's smooth, it's a lovely sipper at £6.50 a bottle. Um, you could do an awful lot worse for a barbecue wine uh, this summer. Not sure what the alcohol level is on it. It doesn't seem to be very intrusive, but what a super wine at 6 50 Okay, so next door, we're going. These are both extra special, by the way. So that's their extra special Dow. This is extra special Malbec. Comes from Argentina. Argentina have really made Malbec their sort of native grape uh, variety in, in the reds. And at, uh, it's seven pounds a bottle. And this one is a little bit more uh, herbal and almost menthol on the nose. It's um, got a touch of brambly sort of hedgerow to it. And again, a little bit more structure than the Dow, um, but not intrusive in any way. Again, a good barbecue wine, seven pounds a bottle. If you're a Malbec fan, that's um, that's terrific value. It's slightly earthy. It's got some good structure. It's big and expressive. It's a lovely forward fruit. Super wines. There, there you go. Two two extra specials, six fifty and seven pounds, and they're onto the whites. So we've got a Fiano. Fiano is the great variety. This comes from Sicily. It's £5.50 a bottle, comes from their Wine Atlas collection. Um, this is a collection I think that's supposed to take you away from your sort of comfort zone and into new and inter interesting areas and great varieties. Certainly does that. And already you know that it's not one of those Italian, really neutral white wines. It's got a real bit of um, lime peel, lemon peel character to it, to the nose. Yeah, and it's zesty and fresh and, and fruity. And at £5.50, got some real character to it. Good party wine for that, uh, that at that price. A little bit of character. It's not going to knock your socks off at five, £5.50, but certainly a lovely wine, fresh and expressive, good for the summertime. Excellent. So next up, uh, back to the extra special range. And this is their Chenin Blanc. It comes from South Africa. Uh, it comes in at £5.50, would you believe it? It's barrel fermented. So when you ferment um, white wines in barrels, it does something different with the interaction of the oak. And it sort of makes the oak a little bit more subtle, a little bit more integrated. And let's see how that works in this. Yeah, all of a sudden you have got that sort of creamy peach uh, nose to it. Little bit of vanilla, but not sort of, not up there in sort of, sort of Aussie kind of oak Chardonnay sort of territory. And and the and the Chenin Blanc is a lot, quite a lovely sort of restrained grape variety. It's got some, still retains some grapiness about it, which is really quite pleasing. Again, fresh and dry, but there's extra body to it. It's um, it's it comes from the oak. I think also it's had some lees aging, so it's they've let the, it sit on its sediment as it's fermenting, and that's probably been stirred into it. It gives a little bit more body. It's vibrant, um, grassy, peachy, um, beautiful um, 
so a creamy number to it really lovely texture in the mouth probably malolactic fermentation you don't need to know that but it's probably got a little bit of mallow about it so it's quite yeah quite soft and buttery and creamy in the mouth lovely wine okay so a pink this is Filippo Sansovino Pinot Grigio blush it doesn't say blush but that's what it is and you can see it's a lovely beautiful pale pink again it's almost you could think that was a white wine if you didn't know it was uh, it was a rosé and it's immediately got a little bit of raspberry on the nose Four ninety nine a bottle, and I tell you what, that is your rosé house house rosé for the summer. Four ninety nine. It's got a little bit of raspberry. It's fresh. It's dry. It's sim simple. Yeah, I'd say it's simple, but it's friendly and beautiful. Um, it's elegant. It's easy. You know, it's a lovely easy wine. It's four ninety nine's worth. It's a beautiful rosé for the summer. That is an absolute cracking bargain. And then the most expensive one we have here is nine pounds a bottle. It's Cremant de Loire. It comes from the Loire in in uh, in France. Um, Cremant de Loire is made in the traditional method, so that's the way they make champagne. And it's a a beautiful. Ooh, that's beautiful. Um, lovely floral um, white blossom uh, nose to it. It's beautiful. Um, lovely persistent um, bubbles. Yeah, green apple and grass and freshness. Little hint of citrus. It's dry as you like. It's elegant and silky and lovely. And at nine pounds, really nice classy drop of fizz for nine quid. You know, you can always get fizz for cheaper, but if you want something special, this is the one for you. So there we go. These are my little uh, six uh, from Asda for the summer and the autumn. Uh, get yourself down there. Some fabulous um, bargains to be had. Um, do follow me on Twitter, at Drinkersite, and Instagram, same address, and on the drinker.co.uk. Give us an email, let us know what you're drinking. Uh, give us a like, give us a share, and uh, good drinking this summer. Cheers.